Hello viewers, how are you doing? I'm Azuka OJ and this is IAT channel. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and let's go there. Namdekano's lawyers lands 50 million Naira suits against DSS over alleged rights violation. When a Nigerian court frees you, <laughs> Don't jubilate at all because there exist other lawless outfits within the government that does anyhow. These are security forces controlled by the executive arm. They do whatever they like and can never be queried for any reason. Top among this organization is the DSS. Mr. Maxwell Opara, who is among the team of lawyers defending Namde Kano on Monday, instituted a 50 million naira fundamental right enforcement suit against the Director General of the Department of State Services, uh, DSS. Who is he? even the Director General? I don't even know. Anyway, Opara, who alleged he alleged he was on um, August 30th, subjected to various degrading treatment, as if he was the a uh, person that is has committed a crime. He went to visit Nam De Kano in detention, and this is based on a court order. And uh, he cited that the Department of State Service DSS as a second respondent in a suit. Um, the application told the the applicant sorry told the court that the DSS operatives had upon his arrival. To see his client, Nam, Mazen Namdekano, they commandeered him <laughs> as if he was a criminal into a particular room within their facility for purposes of alleged bodily uh, search. Um, wherein uh, they forced him to remove his um, eye, medicated eyeglass. <laughs> Hope he can still see <laughs> his wedding ring, belt, jacket, and shoes. And accordingly, left him shabbily dressed, <laughs> this guy there, eh? and he was subjected to the humiliation of holding his trousers <laughs> as if he's the one that they want to check in as a prisoner. He was holding his trousers with his hands, and we are in a bedroom slippers, <laughs> men for waiting trial in Mezzo, and he was exposed to, you know, this kind of air conditioner that will give you cold immediately. And he was there for three hours. He maintained that the action of the DSS, uh, that the action DSS took against him, amounted to gross violation. He's a lawyer. He knows gross violation of his right to dignity of human um, human being as guaranteed under Section 34 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. <laughs> as well as Article 5 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights um, Ratification and Enforcement Acts, CAP, A9 Volume 1, LFN. Hmm. Now, lawyer, they put up. And he specifically um, is telling the court for a declaration that the respondent, in as much as the execution of their duties, must respect fundamental rights of citizens. And accordingly abide by the provisions of chapter four of the 1999 constitution i mean constitution, okay, constitution sorry that is constitution of the federal republic republic of nigeria as amended <laughs> and uh, the provisions of african charter of human and people's rights i hope those dss understand <laughs> the states are saying i hope they will even know what they are charged for he wants to be awarded, he turned the court to award him 50 million naira as compensation for infringement on his uh, fundamental right to dignity and human person as well. And he wants order of um, it, um, the court to order a perpetual injunction restraining the two defendants and their representative further disturbing or interfering with his right to dignity of human person in case he goes to see now again he will not be subjected to such a kind of um, treatment he doesn't want far for the harassment and intimidation and humiliation during his return visit to his to their detention facility because he'll be visiting is a client his client is there and he doesn't want any infringement on his constitutional rights as guaranteed by the law 
and more so the applicant that had also demanded a written apology hmm. dss on it that apology dss is above the law now <laughs> hey he wants a written apology by the respondents to be published in two national daily newspapers hmm. for unwarranted infringement on his fundamental rights hmm. he further prayed for an order of court directing the respondent to jointly and, and severally pay for the cost of the action i mean well according to the report we got no date has been fixed for hearing of the suits but i'll just say oh god calm down <laughs> calm down small eh? actually the fact is that people are subjected to um some some checks i will not say such checks people are subjected to checks though i'm aware nigerian security operatives they are fond of overdoing things it is possible they might have uh, made him fear uh, to an extent that he'll be scared of visiting the facility next time i know what could transpire i can guess now the glasses they ask you to remove asking to remove was because glasses these days carry camera security cameras that can record good videos with high def definition you know recording so they don't want you to actually film or publish take a picture or film of the place uh, and tell people what the place looks like you you can only be able to say but you'll not be able to <laughs> show a picture uh, I don't have problems with them taking the glasses aside the glasses there are other devices that can actually um, carry cameras able to record and they don't want you to have a video record of such place um i would only suggest dss should have a place people in custody will be allowed to meet with their family or relatives a place that um that they will not be worried if people film because if you browse online you will not see any dss picture you only hear dss you can't see any of their stuff um their facility so let them arrange for a meeting point and uh, they can take securities there Security operative there, arrange for another meeting point for people and their clients. Anyway, let's go to the next story. That one is about the Biafra struggle. Let's look at politics of these countries. Not that we are so much interested, but we want to talk about something. I had Senator Ifan Yoba uh, give 20, 20 SUVs to traditional rulers in Anambra. Say, what are they using it for? Uh, Obi and I just gave them. At least gave them what? You know, politicians and their maneuvering. <laughs> Atiku Abubakar remembers school pupil each time elections are close. He wants to um, show he understand how the school pupil feel. Buhari is not also different. These guys, you know, politicians in Nigeria especially, they portray themselves like angel from heaven during their campaigning. campaigning. Campaign trail. Imagine you knew Buhari will turn out to be what he is today. <laughs> will you ever consider voting him? Anyway, if you don't vote self, they rig their way. So when I hear Senator Ivan Yoba, <laughs> the young progressive party candidate uh, for November 6, um, 2021, Anambra election, when I had a gifted 20 SUV to traditional rulers in South senatorial zone of the states i don't marvel meanwhile one day even one day i'm not here to spoil anybody's business uh, i'm not trying to spoil your business anyway in case you don't know viewers um the billionaire businessman who um is representing anambra south in the senate reportedly presented 20 toyota suv these are new ones so i don't think it's tokumbo to traditional rulers while marking his uh, 50th birthday over the weekend hmm. oh, they will, you know people normally the bible say give to somebody who cannot give you he's giving to people who will help him <laughs> rally well <laughs> a facebook page owner sees Oba's doing as uh, being magnanimous and giving to all hmm. But remember, Oba, if he wins the election, he must recoup his investment too, and Anambra money will be used. You know? <laughs> OK, 
okay still on this um okay let's call it generous generosity of the senator if you will you can recall that um back in june uh, it was reported that oba presented a bulletproof brabos mercedes-benz g-wagon limousine to the general overseer of omega power ministry not omega fire omega power opm and uh, this one is also an apostle give chinyere chibuzo he recently did a similar gesture to Anglican Bishop of Newi, Reverend Ndubi C.O.B., who also got the key to a Mercedes-Benz SUV. Oba, please, I am here. Oh. I don't even need a, a, those. Um, I need just a normal car, you know, in addition. Please, oh, look at me. Oh. Well, it seems we shall round up in the church today. Hmm. The general overseer of redeemed christian church of god pastor enoch adeboye has reportedly sold his helicopter this helicopter is carrying the registration marking 5 n e a a hmm. that reminds me of a story a co-tenant in my former apartment in lagos uh, decided to dust his shoes or let me say clean his shoes a particular days you know, this is about four or five years ago or, or more. He decided to dust his shoes, some of which he has not worn for years. I almost asked him if he was a shoe dealer or something like that. <laughs> I saw more than 100 pairs of quality shoes and most of them he will never put on again. So what was he waiting for to dash them out? You have to give out the old things so the new ones will come in. He has given out this helicopter. He has, he's selling this helicopter. Somebody might donate. Does it mean this was why Pastor Adebay we have to do this? I don't know. I think the reason he sold it, based on the report we had, is because of the maintenance cost. What? 123 million naira. Okay. Okay. It is not that he has many of the helicopter, just because of the maintenance costs. And according to reports, the helicopter was purchased in September 2020 to ferry the pastor and other officials of the church across the world for Mbasu Ziyokwe Nagota to spread the gospel. I don't think he has many. I think it's just that one anyway. The general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, sold his helicopter Why, Pano? Like we said, has it properly served him the reason it was acquired? Now, not just the maintenance costs, he sold it because um, it was suspended from flying by the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA. It was suspended from flying in April 2021 over alleged expired documents and spare parts which needed to be replaced. I wish they would sell all those. They were, they were also down all those um, Air Force jets crashing because they are dangerous. I don't know their years. They will also ground them. They should be suspended. Each time you hear Air Force jet crashes, you know. So it was also stated that the managers of the aircraft charged $50,000, that's $20 million monthly, for nav charges. Hmm. He has sold that, but he has a friend who has several private jets. Uh, a, a son, I don't know. And he will be using that of the Living Faith Church, maybe for charter or um, yet what we donate, I don't even know. But let's get back to the man with many shoes. I think the man that has many shoes should dash some out. You know, those ones he's not using. What exactly is in your mind? What do you think about that? You know, I've been to houses where people stockpile secondhand things that they don't use and refuse to sell off or dash anyone. These things remain there like, you know, forever until they are totally damaged is it proper perhaps um 
I'm trying to pass a message to somebody. Um, Adeboye's selling of his helicopter may not be the lesson, but it reminded me of this story, and I think it is time for us to think. I just use this opportunity to talk to someone. You know, my pastor in Lagos occasionally asks us to bring to the church things that we don't use, things we have not used for like two years a year. We bring it to the church, including clothes. And these have been used to bless other people who can't afford them. In fact, on one occasion in Lagos, I got a very nice chinos trouser for within hundreds of Naira. I was so pleased. I used it for some years because it was a quality one. Please, as you watch this video, think about somebody you will want to bless. Somebody who has nothing. Somebody who might need that thing you have dumped somewhere. I remember on one occasion, a guy got a car. He doesn't have a car. And he got a car for almost 18,000 Naira. A car he cannot get for 1 million Naira. It's a second-hand car, but it's still in good condition. There are many things you have in your home that you can decide to dash out. Dash it out. You have people around you who need it. I don't say dash me. There are people around you who need those things you have not used for a year or two. Meanwhile, viewers, um, this is where uh, we draw the curtain for today. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Also, click on the bell icon to get our updates. I'm Azoka OJ, and I say bye for now.